day, Houston. All right, if you were not awake before, you are awake now. Happy New Year. You might be saying, what do you mean Happy New Year? The Lion Dancers from Lee's Golden Dragon are with us this morning to kick off Lunar New Year, the Year of the Pig. The leader of the group is Dr. Alan Lee. He is with us this morning as well. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so the Lunar New Year, uh, which is different than the, the Julian calendar. Yes, we, we're uh, based on the lunar calendar, so it's a different day every year. Yeah, and a different year that that started. Was it 1487, something like that? It's 4717. 4717, wow. Okay, before we can get anything else going here, we have to awaken this dragon, yes. right? And there's a certain ceremony you do to do that. What mm -hmm. is that? Uh, eye dotting ceremony. Okay. We have a brand new line, never been used, and it's always traditional to... Oh, and I call it a dragon, it's a line. <laughs> okay, there we go. All okay, right. So the line. Okay. Dot that eye. Yes. Okay. And then the right eye. There we go. Starts coming away, and then the mouth. And there we go. There you go. So it's awake. Oh, it is now awake. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the ceremony itself. Because so many times we see things and we forget to ask the questions of how it all got started. Um, the dragon, in particular, in Chinese culture, is something that is is also very regal, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the dragon would consist of many more people, multitude of people, 9, 10, 50 people, and it represents like abundance, plenty, and whereas the lion represents good luck, good yeah. fortune. And you have your dragon dancers and you have your lion dancers. Yes. Give us the significance of, of course, the zodiac. We have all the animals. I am the year of the tiger, mm -hmm. and you're going to hear me roar. <laughs> the significance of, of those years and the animals assigned to them. Okay, uh, it's 12, 12 animals, 12 uh, zodiac animals, and the uh, Jade Emperor had a little race, and the first one was, of course, the rat, and the last one was the pig. Mm -hmm. So, Which is the year we're in yes. right now, right? And if you were born under the sign of the pig, what does that mean? Well, you're basically uh, very enthusiastic, active, and, uh, you know, kind-hearted, generous, but sometimes you can be a little self-indulgent. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, symbolism of the colors, you know, red is a, a, a big color in many cultures. Yeah, it's a main color for Chinese, it's lucky, and it, you know, represents joy and happiness, so you see it where a lot of times in weddings and mm -hmm. in fact a wedding dress can be red yes. yeah it's, it's interesting look at this I, I grew up my early years in Taiwan I lived across the street from a Chinese village mm -hmm. and we would see this all the time it was so cool uh, gold gold and yellow represents royalty and imperialism you sign you'll see a lot of emperors wear yellow and gold mm -hmm. and as in many cultures green green the color of money which represents prosperity yeah. and wealth. And then of course blue for calm and peace. Which is what we have, yes. yes. We have our drums and our cymbals, but there's another thing that we celebrate the new year with, and that's fireworks, and that has a meaning also. Mm -hmm. Fireworks along with the drumming can scare away or ward off evil spirits, but in present time we say the drumming bring us good luck. Yeah, there's some other things that uh, you do, like you don't shower, sweep, or throw out the garbage because you might be throwing out some good luck. Yeah, sweep away the well. You don't want to cut your hair or cut anything because you may cut the yeah. good fortune. I remember as a kid, I would get an envelope for one of my, my parents' friends, and it was a red envelope and it had money in it. Yeah, we always have elders pass it to the younger people because you're passing the wealth to the younger generation. Mm -hmm. And the traditional foods, of course, like dumplings and noodles and steamed fish, uh, symbolizes surplus and wealth. So it's a whole celebration around the Lunar New Year. All right, what are our dragons and our lions going to do for us right now? Uh, we're going to dance and bring you and your studio good luck. All right. Good fortune. Let's step out and get our good luck. <laughs>
cool. Now, this is the abbreviated version, right? It's the abbreviated version. All right, and of course, it ends with the uh, Lantern Festival, which I always used to love. We'd go door to door in the streets, and we'd be out there with our lanterns, which symbolizes reunions, time of socializing, and freedom, and people celebrate, you know, out in the streets together. Thank you very much for coming by today and showing us just one piece of culture here in Houston. Thank you. It's a pleasure. All right. Lee's Golden Dragon has a number of performances coming up all over Houston. Saturday, they will perform the pregame show at the Houston Rockets. You can also see them Saturday at Katy Asian Town at 1.30 p.m. and two shows at Viatopia Restaurant Saturday night. After the break, a performance.